Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back, OCG Meta Game Breakdown again for July. We are somewhat going into August. I think this should be the last Meta Game report for July 2017. OCG Meta Game. Again, all the links will be in the video description. So if you want more information about deck lists, etc., again, feel free to check out the links down below. The most important uh, site here or for information again is Road of the King. Followed by, for example, ready, ready for duel uh, with all these deck lists and, of course, the Yu-Gi-Oh! organization website. So, OCG met the game breakdown July, end of July, pretty much almost. The new cards just released for past weekend uh, weren't too relevant. Um, new Goki, a new Goki Link monster, a Bloody Mary Trickster was also released as a new Link monster. Uh, there was also like a new Gorse card, Interrupt Resistor, if I'm not mistaken, but all these cards aren't really too relevant for the highly competitive meta game. So for past weekend, as we see here, not too many big changes compared to last week and previous weeks since again true Dracos uh, in general is still the most represented and maybe the best deck sitting at about 40%. All the hybrids by the way and as mentioned on the Road of the King website, um, it's still I believe very obvious that this kind of build with a spellbook engine is still the most popular version of True Dracos, but again, there is a lot of variety here for this, like for example, the a more Stanish build, the Mice build, with you know the other True Draco cards. But outside of that, uh, not really too many changes. You know, Spellbook of Knowledge, as it is called now, quite, quite a very crucial card in today's OCG format. So, again, a very important card when it's going to be released here in the TCG. And then, um, th yeah, second and third place, mm, yeah, pretty much right. We have Dinosaurs again. Both True Dracos and Dinosaurs can pretty much be considered as being the the current best decks in the OCG format. Um, and then again, as you see here also in these uh, statistics in the numbers, is that there are a lot of rogue decks. And uh, I think the best explanation for this is that the power level of the current best decks in the OCG isn't that high. So again, more rogue decks can uh, compete, can somewhat compete with the current top tier decks. For dinosaurs, again, not too many changes. Then again, there was one thing that caught my attention, and it was a Cold Sark, as you see here in the main deck for dinosaurs, so not for Metaphys, as something we could expect. Uh, Cold Sarcophagus being main deck, but dinosaurs again have access, or at least can somewhat abuse the new giant Rex. Again, when banished, it gets special summoned, so that's good. Cold Sark can definitely have a main deck spot here, and also the triple pill you know the new pill for here yeah for dinosaurs and also triple conductor tyrone in the main deck very fast deck and of course also good going second again abusing or at least having the the chances to otk your opponent in an instant so in yeah very interesting here that gold sark be a main deck in dinosaurs for the rest Sitting in about third place, yeah, let's call it third place, uh, and fourth place. First of all, ABC still like the, um, yeah, I believe you saw the third place spot. Not too many changes for ABC. Chicken game, set rotation quickly, th go through your field spells, and you know set up your Destrudo, uh, your Dreads, and you know go for uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon, etc., etc. You know by now, a very solid deck by the way, ABCs, but it's still very hard for ABCs to compete. Uh, at the competitive, or at, the, at least, yeah, at a very consistent level with the current top tier decks. But, yeah, you never know how ABCs are going to develop. And then fourth place. That, oh, this thing also caught my attention, and that's Magicians. Pendulums, yes, Pendulums in Link format, still somewhat relevant, sitting at about 5%. But as you're also seeing uh, at the decklist, or on the decklist on the Yu-Gi-Oh! organization website, there are quite a couple of Pendulum Magicians represented in the tops of you know the locals or tournaments from past weekend. Um, notable cards, uh, first of all Apex Avian, you know the somewhat sol solemn judgment on Lex is again finding its way to the main deck and what else with you know blue boy engine the spellbook engine with spellbook of knowledge also being main decked here in Pendulum Magician. So again proving that spellbook of knowledge is going to be an important 
one <laughs> and of course a very maybe expensive one here for us TCG players really really soon but interesting here is that pendulum magician are still somewhat competitive in the current OCG format and then yeah a couple of percentages being rogue decks um, yeah we see for example star grills uh, link decks aren't really too popular tricksters okay a couple of tricksters top decked uh, at least topped uh, past weekend just like every week by the way but here's like an example with uh, multiple bls in his main deck again bls is not at one in the ocg and it's it's hardly seeing any play again very interesting and, and how yeah power creep affects this game so tricksters again they got bloody mary but i don't think bloody mary is that crucial uh yet in a tricksters for the rest yeah we see dark magicians for example infernoids as well infernoids main decking the fire king avatar ganesha i believe its name is again tributing a fire monster negate the monster effect a very solid card interesting deck here for infernoids but outside of that not really too many uh, too many important uh, notable things um okay guys that's it thanks for watching feel free to leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video leave me signing out peace